Well, time now is 7.49. Let's check in with CBS News Miami meteorologist Lizette Gonzalez, who is tracking the weather in New Orleans, where millions of people are celebrating Mardi Gras. They had to put it on hold for a couple of years. Today is Fat Tuesday, when you, what, eat pancakes and drink. Maybe you drink you know, throughout the I whole thing. King cake too, right? <laughs> Which I've never, I've never had, but I would love to try it because it sounds delicious. But yes, yes, happy Fat Tuesday. Happy first day of March. Mardi Gras is back. The first full Mardi Gras since 2020. And you know, it's a chilly start right now in New Orleans with the mid 40s, at least the weather cooperating for all the festivities, for all the parties and parades taking place. As highs this afternoon will be in the upper 60s. Doesn't get better than that. Mostly sunny and nice and cool into the evening. It'll be cooling down in New Orleans with the mid 60s. And as we take a look at the national map, by the way, today is also the meteorological start of spring. And although it's quite cold across much of the country right now, as you're waking up with widespread 30s and 40s stretching from the central and southern plains all the way up through the mid-Atlantic, northeast, New England areas, as well as in through the northern plains, the 30s. And we're seeing the 50s and 40s over on the west coast. Temperatures this afternoon afternoon will feel more like spring, about 10 to 20 degrees above normal. For for example, in Texas, highs will be climbing to the low 70s, really mild there, upper 60s in New Orleans and Atlanta, and of course here in South Florida, 80 degrees, but we're not going to be the warmest spot, by the way. Today, Phoenix is the winner when it comes to the warm weather, 85 degrees there, 81 in Los Angeles, 74 in El Paso, 34 though in Minneapolis, so it still will be cold for much of the northern tier of the country. But then we have Portland, 56 degrees and rain. And that is where we're going to be turning our attention because of that atmospheric river of moisture that's going to be impacting the Pacific Northwest. So are the storms going to get pretty bad up there? Yeah, they are, and Marie, unfortunately. So you can see from our national satellite and radar map that it's quiet for much of the central and southern parts of the country. But across the northern plains into the Great Lakes, there's some snow and also some rain. And this activity is pushing into the Great Lakes region. However, look at this soaker of a storm system across the Pacific Northwest into Washington and Oregon and Idaho, as well as Montana, dealing with the wintry weather and we're going to continue to see that low pressure system just funneling in and pumping in that moisture. Seattle already picked up two to three inches of rain yesterday. We're going to be adding to those rainfall totals. So we not only have those flood watches and warnings in effect for parts of the Pacific Northwest and into the Cascades, also the danger of avalanches. So avalanche warnings have been issued for portions of Montana, Idaho, and that'll continue likely through the next few days because we're going to continue to deal with the moisture moving in and that storm system pushing across the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier of the country. All right, Lizette, thank you very much. Thank you. You can catch Lizette and the entire CBS News Miami team on our map. It gives you access to all of our CBS News national and local streams for free anytime, anywhere.